you apply to this school, you don't need to apply separately for application for scholarship because once you apply, you are going to see here that your application for admission also serve as your application for funding. You are going to be getting funding if you are applying for undergraduate program or if you are applying for graduate program. For the graduate program, you are going to be having graduate assistantship offer. For the graduate application, what you need to do are in three steps. First, you create and activate your account. You provide your application, your personal information, all those information during the application, you provide it, then you upload every document. Note that you can use your own official transcript to apply to this school. And once you are applying to this school, you don't need to bother about the official transcript before you can use the uh, uh, the transcript that you have with you and you don't even need to bother about the test score to start your application Okay, if you also go to the undergraduate program page Here you are going to find out that to apply for undergraduate program is also free as well There is no deadline and you can start your application without any test score Okay, so all of these are things that we are going to be discussing in this video and I will guide you step by step because I will be doing the complete application in this video. So I want you to sit back and watch. But first, I want you to click on that like button so that other people that are looking for this information can easily find it. If you are just coming across my channel, I welcome you to this channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. And I greet all of you. Happy New Month today. Okay? So what I want us to do now is to start looking at how we can apply what is the name of this university where is this university located okay this is the michigan tech university i've talked about michigan tech university and i want you to know the difference between these michigan tech universities okay this university of michigan is the dearborn that i talked about before now and this particular one that we are looking at today now is the michigan tech directly itself okay so there are two different university so if you've not applied to this one i advise that you try and apply to this one because there's no application fee as you've seen already yourself they have varieties of program that you can apply to if you are planning to study for your undergraduate uh, degree and if you are planning to study for your graduate degree they have over 140 programs that you can also choose from okay so under the major undergraduate program we have 151 results but i want us to do a filter before we actually go ahead under this delivery you change it to on campus because that is what you should select okay so after you've selected on campus then you might want to select maybe the area of your focus okay so let's say i want to go for uh art humanity and social science business communication Let's say I want to go for uh, business. So under business now, I have accounting business, business analytics, business IT solution. We have 17 results right here. Okay. So we have 17 results right here. So if I click on this, uh, if I click on this accounting right now, let's see what we have right here. Okay. So under here we have, this is a coursework program. It is not a thesis based program so when you are looking at graduate study you should know that some of them they will be coursework or thesis based program okay so say master degree a master specific degree option is coursework so which means this program is available for bachelor and is also available for graduate level uh, for the master's program which means you can apply for either bachelor or undergraduate so you can search on this page but if you also want to uh, apply for the undergrad uh, for the graduate program you have the graduate uh, program page separately so on this graduate program page you are going to find the list of available programs how you can apply okay so if you go to you no know, prospective okay so if i go to programs if i go to degree programs it will load up the uh, degree program page for us and on this degree program page we can see now that the page is actually loading uh, loading is it loading 
yes it's loading okay so under here we have 105 programs that are available right here so i'm going to click on all delivery and click on on campus so when it, when we click on on campus does anything change or delivery okay i think it's only one program that uh, is online okay so after we've done this then uh, i want to look at uh, the programs that are available uh, actually the person i want to apply for right now uh have a background in chemistry so i want to apply for either biochemistry or chemistry okay so uh chemistry we have chemistry we have chemical engineering so i'm going to click on chemistry for example let's look at it you see now we have uh chemistry ba bs minor ms phd so all of this means bachelor masters phd and minor programs so you see it right there yourself so under these two table you can differentiate which or where you are planning to go to okay so right now this is available as coursework this is also available as thesis so i'm going to click on program overview because uh, my target today is to go for a uh, uh, graduate application for this particular uh person okay so come here admission requirements if elementor create the personal personalized environment necessary for you to tackle blah 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 all of this i don't need to start reading all of this information for you so you can come here on campus program master's thesis option master's coursework option so you can read it this option require a minimum of 30 credits be earned through coursework uh distribution so all of these are information that you can actually uh go through graduate application online application are review on an individual basis using holistic approach okay so just make sure you check everything apply for free no application fee so you come back here again you can come back here request information so if you wish to request for more information you can uh click on that so i think it is a form that you can actually fill to request for information okay but this is now what we are targeting we'll go back to start the application immediately okay so now that we've seen uh how you can choose your program from this previous page on the previous page where we have the list of program that might interest you first thing you have to search for the program that interests you cybersecurity, data science data science foundation dynamic system electrical engineering uh engineering management all of these are programs that are available for you to take on right now earth information all of these are programs that you can actually take on right now all of this okay so if you find your program there fine if you don't find it there then you might need to look at other universities that might offer your program okay also under the undergrads environment as well you can search for all the programs okay so let's search for all area of study under all area of study then we have 151 results on campus so let me close this close this accounting Atoric science, aerospace engineering, American study, heart, astrophysics, biochemistry. This is the program I'm actually looking for for the graduate study, but it is not available for uh for graduate program, right? So it is not available. So I will now go ahead and select chemistry because I've discussed with the person and we've made choices. So make sure you know your program before you actually uh apply and you can see there they have so i don't just want to waste your time in this video so let's go to the uh to the page and go and start the application immediately there are two ways for you to actually start your application you can come down here and click on apply now here or you can scroll down up and click on apply now here so I'm going to click on this. When I click on this, it will load the uh, apply now page for us. Admission. 
uh, create your account all of this information begin your application then there are some FAQ question that you can read here so I, I also think it is important you read it you cannot you know there's a school I'm currently uh, processing the application and I've made a video on this channel uh, St. Louis St. Louis they will ask you to send some of your program uh, program documents through email but this one is quite different is quite different okay no you cannot mail your document to them all required documents uh, for the application process must be uploaded to your Michigan Tech admission portal Hard copy of official transcript will be reviewed and scanned but will not be physically retained by any other mail documents will not be reviewed and will be shred or destroyed it is highly recommended that international students bring their official transcript and proof of degree with them on campus so you can still use your unofficial transcript for the application how do i apply for funding you don't need to apply for funding because it is automatic for both undergraduate and uh, graduate program how do i know if my application is under review email will be sent to you as a reminder to access your admission portal for importance when will i receive my admission decision all application decisions are made by the program of study the time frame for a decision varies among program because there's no specific deadline for each of this program additional information okay so you need to know that if you're applying for the graduate program uh there's the tuition rates so if you are not uh doing the right thing maybe you are not getting the funding be ready to pay for your tuition fee okay but the only thing you can do if you are going for your undergraduate is to write a good essay and if you are going for your graduate program i mean undergrad if you are going for your graduate program write a good statement of purpose okay but for the uh graduate program there's a ten dollar processing fee for the undergraduate program there is no processing fee okay so i also think you should get that right i think it is also written somewhere here okay it is also written here that you require to pay ten dollar processing fee for your application okay for the documents rather okay so please get that information right before you start the application to the program you prefer okay so if i come back here and i click on begin your application begin your application okay so i'm going to push up the data i have with me so i'll be looking at my laptop right now to uh, get this information application supports credential okay so you know how we do it those people that are uh, that are in my uh, paid services you are a returning user if you are already set up uh, we don't need all, uh, all of this this is just a new application i'm starting so i'll click create account uh okay so so if you are in my uh paid uh user or paid service user then uh You should know uh, okay so I don't just want to use the dummy data and go and start over for this person again I just want to be sure that I'm putting in the right email address okay then uh, first name okay so I'm going to pause this session and come back so I have input all the information I'm going to click on continue right now on that first page I'm going to hit continue okay so a temporary pin has been sent to your email address if you've not received this please check so uh, right now we cannot continue this application because i have to reach out to this person to to get this temporary pin okay so let's see if i can pause this and uh continue when i get the pin right okay so i have to reach out to this person to get the temporary pin
okay so those of you that works with me you know i don't keep uh, i don't keep your information so that you now get to the point of entry they will be asking you to log into your portal you can't log in okay so right now i've put in temporary pin and i've selected the date of birth i'm going to click on login now so login right now then now i can create a password uh to log into this account so i'm going to create a password and come back okay so right now i've put in the password then i'm going to click on set password after setting this i'm going to save this password so that i don't have to be uh remembering again okay so right now we can now start the application so i'll click on start new application graduate school application so please make sure before you start your application the apply now button you are clicking is of two type so if i go back to this page if i go back to this page you see that this particular page is devoted for the graduate program okay and this first page that i showed you is devoted for the undergraduate uh, program so if you are applying for undergraduates make sure you click the program on this page and make sure you are seen undergraduate before you actually click on it if you come back to my website i've uh, differentiates this information for you so if you come here you're going to see the undergraduate application then the graduate application so that you don't do mistake okay so because as you can see right now it's showing us directly that you can proceed to start graduate school application so i'm going to click on uh, create application now okay so right now uh now we've started so i'll click on open okay so but before you start actually you need to start uh preparing all your documents in one place so this is one of the reason i always give you access to the uh to the profile where you provide me information with uh your first name last name all those emergency contact next of skin reference so that i have all your information to process your application for you so if you want me to process your application i can do this for a fee for you so all of this information you will uh, i have it right now so uh, i can fill all this information so all this information is what you now have to start have you previously attended michigan tech no uh citizenship uh not a u.s citizen or permanent resident uh home country i give permission to michigan tech to send updates via sms uh standard sm standard message charges apply that's fine okay so uh previous uh mr suffix uh we don't need suffix is not important that's the first page uh so uh, i'm going to fill in all this so i've put in all the information phone number everything then i want to continue right now okay so permanent address we have to start selecting a permanent address so let me just give you brief uh understanding of what you need to do if you come here you are going to see that this is the page where we provide our basic information then the address our personal information previous colleges international information program of study then certification and review so this thing is not uh what you can't do yourself but if you are finding it difficult to navigate it you can always reach out to me for support okay so if you go to this page on my website you are going to see the page where i put contact so on the contact page you can actually reach out to me for support either for your admission application you've seen a school you uh, you wish to apply to you want to apply you are finding it difficult you can reach out to me under the educational immigration university admission application for permanent residence abroad all of these services you can reach out to me for it for a fee and if you plan to migrate to the united states as a teacher you can also use this form and there's a video here that you can watch if you've not watched that video on my channel you can do where to watch this video and apply if you have your uh, uh teaching license from any country any country you are coming from so far you have your teaching license 
you can actually participate to become a teacher in the United States okay and if you want to apply for any scholarship that you've seen anywhere or on my channel you can reach out to me to help you process all of this for a fee okay so if you find this useful please click on that like button if you uh, have any question drop it at the comment box if you are new to this channel please make sure you subscribe so that you can be the first person to get information when there is new update on this channel so this is how to process the application yourself choosing the program creating your accounts putting the uh, putting in the temporary pin creating your password after you create your password log into the portal uh click on start application after you click start application click on uh open application open the application put in your uh brief information start putting your address your personal information colleges that you've attended your other information the program you wish to apply to and review all the information that you've submitted submit your application if you are applying for undergraduate the application is for free if you are applying for a uh, graduate program the application is for free but the processing fee of ten dollar is applicable to graduate programs okay so if this interests you click on that like button so that other people that are looking for this information can easily find it see then i'm going to catch up with you now peace